tonight, I want to talk about present your case to God Almighty. Present your case to God Almighty. Isaiah 43, Isaiah 41, verse 21. Isaiah 41, verse 21. Isaiah 41, verse 21 says, Present your case, says the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason. So God wants us to bring the, the one that the doctors, the lawyer, the solicitor says, it is impossible. One of our members, they released her from uh, immigration custody this yesterday. You arrested her maybe a month ago. And they try all what they could, even though I went to a lawyer for, I went to a solicitor for, for her. And the lawyer they consulted, they said, the case is worse. There's no way they are taking you back to Nigeria. But the sister, she asked for it. They will begin to pray. Say, let's see what God will do. So they asked us to bring money, 1,005. This one say 1,008. This one say bring 500. And she asked, no money. Brethren, you have no money, then you have God. Yes. And I want you to listen to present your kids. Don't listen to anybody's report. God has the final say. Now this sister, he downloaded the form and said in prison. He paid the form, he do everything. Even though when he was telling me as a pastor, I was a little bit because if it is come to immigration case in this country, unless God intervene, even though the form that, that lawyer feel, solicitor feel, do everything, follow you there, they will turn it upside down. This sister filled this form herself online. He said it. I said, okay, send all the copy to me. And the sister said, Daddy, I believe and I have faith. You have taught us about faith that my God will do it. Immediately, they give her a date for yesterday for hearing. And they have sent the document, the, 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 the photocopy to me. I give her a, a, an assignment to do. I give her some scripture. I say, go into fast and pray, begin to do. I say, yesterday before you will appear because she will not go. She will look in the way. That is a uh, screen uh, video interview. Then he called me around. I said, call me exactly 9 o'clock. He called me two minutes to 9. Is the one wake me up, woke me up yesterday. I prayed. And we prayed for this. I said, hold your peace and let's see what God will do. I said immediately, they finished the case. I commit the judge, the lawyer, the everybody to the hand of God. I come, we confess the language. We ask for people and mercy. I want to teach you the way you can present your case. A lot of people are presenting case in the wrong way. That is why our prayer has not been answered. A lot of people of you to ask where are you supposed to ask for mercy. You are asking for deliverance. A lot of people are supposed to ask for healing. You are asking for destroyer to destroy the enemy. Why you don't know that you are the enemies of yourself? <laughs> That's a way you can present your case to God, and God will look at the case. The Bible says God is the greatest judge, isn't it? He will judge you. He will judge between you and your enemy. He will judge between you and adversaries and you. So when you present your case. He will look at your case, he will look at the case of the adversaries, then he will give judgment. But when you, when you are presenting a wrong case to him, when you are asking to destroy your enemy, and you are the enemies of yourself, he will not destroy you, he will just keep quiet. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory, around after 10 years today, the sister ran. I say, my daughter, where are you? Say they have released me. Yeah. Let's praise the Lord. The case that the solicitors and to my own surprise, last week, last week they gave her a ticket to Nigeria that she's going on Friday, and she prayed. I said, if they did not come to twelve o'clock, you are not going. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, up till 
they released her yesterday. The immigration did not show up. Don't you know you have the authority and the power? Yes. How do you present your case? God says here, present your case. Says the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason. Says the king of Jacob. Do you think that God is interpretive? When the first mention his name, says the Lord, and the last one, he says, says the king of Jacob, that is the king of Israel. Then in Isaiah 43, in Isaiah 43, verse 25 to 26, now before we go, because we want to pray, he said, I, even I, I am he who brought out your transgression for my own word sake. Anytime that you are approaching your God, don't look at yourself as a sinner. Before you appeared to him, he said, I have wiped it away. What you did, you did it in ignorance. And he said, two ways. And I will not remember your sin. Put me in remembrance. Let us contest together. Put me in remembrance. What God is said to us there is, remind me my words. Go back to, the, to, 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 your, to your Bible. That is manual. What did I say concerning that your case? What did I say concerning that your situation? What did I say concerning that your sickness? What did I say concerning that your deliverance? He said, put me to remembrance. Bring me back to my world. Remind me the covenant that I made for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. Christians, we are lazy to pray. I prayed five hours this morning. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not happy. Five hours. I woke up four o'clock. I begin to pray concerning this program. Nothing but this program. I finish it eight o'clock. I'm not. I'm not happy. When mommy came this afternoon, he met me where I'm writing a, 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 a books. Immediately, mommy left. I stood up again. My wife and my son they went out. I begin to pray. Before even we come here to preach, I have prayed for you. I have prayed for everyone. I have prayed for myself. He has taken control. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put me in remembrance. Let us contend together. State your case that you may be. How do you state your case to God? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What type of case are you presenting to God? A sister and a brother came to me, not the same time, but their case is the same. The brother, what the sister want to bring her husband from Belgium. He tried three times, they caught him, they, they, they took him back. And he came as our member. Daddy, my husband wants to come. We have tried three times. I have spent money. He want to use uh, the other side what I'm saying. 100% this thing. And they are cutting him. So when he came, I said, sister, what you are doing and what you to do is wrong. Yes or no? Because the Bible says we should obey the law of that country where you are. Number one. Then I said, what we are going to ask for is mercy. Then I remind God his word. Number one, I said, Lord, it is true that we say we should obey the law of the country. I said, and number two, you said you hate divorce. I remind him his word. Number three, I said, God, when you created man and woman, you said it is not good alone that man should stay alone. I said, this woman is here. The husband is there. And I said, God, you say you hate fornicator and adultery. I said, Lord, now, your word says mercy triumph over judgment. I say, where we are at this junction, we need your mercy to bring this man to this woman. Brethren, I'm telling you the truth. That week, we asked for mercy, and they brought the same road that they used to cut him and draw him back. We crossed the road. Why? We remind him his word. Mercy. 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 Stop what say mercy. Mercy. And the last sister just have written, a brother. 
He came. We did the same thing. Brethren, you send document to the to the home office. You know that what you said is nonsense. And you are asking God to kill them to destroy them there. <laughs> and you are asking God to blindfold them for concerning your application. He can't. They to be a human being. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. What you need is Father, have mercy. In that place, you don't need killer. You don't need destroyer. You don't need the Lord by the witches and wizards. No. Your prayer from the day one of the application to the end of the application, have mercy. Favor me at all. The king's heart is in your hand. Touch their heart. Let them look into me favorably. Present your case. Amen. 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 You are a student. You don't study. And you are asking daddy. Oh, at the end of the exam, father, let me pass. You can't pass. <laughs> when you don't study, it is when you study, when you prepare yourself, then you will ask him to strengthen you. You will ask the Holy Spirit to bring to remembrance what you have studied. So when you pray concerning your exam, when you are going on about, play football, go everywhere, at the time of exam, you are saying, oh, Holy Spirit, come and help me. Holy Spirit will tell you I'm coming. <laughs> so after the exam, then you got your result now. Then you are blaming God. Don't blame God. Blame yourself. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm coming here for four days, five days. Daddy have told me what I'm coming here to do. Then I say, okay, mama, be preparing food for me. Let me be eating. The Holy Spirit will do the work. Huh? <laughs> when I come to the altar, the Holy Spirit will inject me and begin to sleep. <laughs> But when you present this case, you study that Dolly, this is what I'm going to do. Present it to him. Back it up. Empower this. Through this word, let there be signs, let there be wonders. You are presenting that case to him. Before you go there, you begin to do his work. Oh, yes. Christian, if you know the way we can present our case to God, we will not struggle, we will not sweat. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Last week I was praying. I don't know what brought this thing into my heart. I said, Daddy, everyone that you have used me for, because I broke. Somebody say broke. broke. <laughs> you know, I told you I didn't take salary. I said, Daddy, the people that you have used me for, got in their deliverance, got in their healing, and they have forgotten me, and my right is in their hand. Father, touch them. Don't let them have rest. Bring them to me. And we are pre finished. I use Psalm 86. Verse 17 and 18, I said, Daddy, 16 and 17, I said, I need a sign. Lo and behold, around 12 midnight, a sister called me. Daddy, where are you? I have been calling you. I don't have peace of mind. I wanted to give you something long time. But Daddy, give me your account. I said, Daddy, <laughs> Because I present my case to him. That hour, I don't pray that daddy put money in my pocket. It won't come from heaven. But I say, daddy, the people you are using me for, that they have gotten their healing and deliverance, breakthrough, and they have testimony. Touch them, let them remember me. And God began to trouble this sister. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Up to yesterday night, he, he, he texted me, daddy, have you, have you got the money in your account? I say I've got it because I present my case. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Am I talking to someone? Yes. Your prayer will be answered tonight. Yes. God will give you an understanding tonight. Yes. From tonight, you will know how to present your case. Yes. My question is what type of case have you presented to God? Yes. How did you present your own case? Are you clean or sanctified when you are presenting your case before him? It is true that God said we should present our case in Isaiah 41, 21. Now, how did you present 
you, you, you didn't present your case. How did you approach God? When God appeared to you, what did you say? In time of Solomon, in 1 Kings 3, 3, 5 to 15, God appeared to Solomon. And God gave him a, a blank check. He said, ask what shall I give to you? Brethren, let me tell you, Solomon did not say, because God has appeared to me. Solomon did not go straight to say, Daddy, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me that. The Bible says, God, Solomon remind God what he has done for his father. Then he begin to give thanks on behalf of his father. I thank you, Lord. You have done this to, your, to my father, your servant David. You have done this. You have done this. You have done this. Solomon was telling God that what you have given to my father is little. I want you to do great things for me. In the thanksgiving and praise. Solomon was telling God that Lord God, in time of my father, you be with him, he fought a battle. My father did not rest till he died. But Solomon was telling him, in my own day, you ask me to ask. I'm not asking for war. <laughs> During his thanksgiving and worship to God. And when he will now finally present his case, he did not ask the life of his enemy. He did not ask for the instruction. Solomon asked for the thing that he does not have to rule in Israel. He asked for wisdom. Now here I say, therefore give to your servant an understanding heart to judge your people that I may decide between good and evil for who is able to judge these great people of yours? He did not ask for destruction. He did not ask for killing. He did not ask for, for, for uprooting. Let's see what God said in verse 10. Then the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon has asked this thing. From today, you will know how to ask God. From today, your, 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 your speech will please God. From today, your prayer will touch the kingdom of God. From today, your, your prayer will turn the heart of God. Then God said to him, because you have not asked you have not asked the, this thing and have not asked long life for yourself, nor have asked riches for yourself, nor have asked the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to decide justice. A lot of people, what we need, we do not ask. We do not present the case. No wonder that the Bible says in the book of James 4 that we ask, we did not receive because we ask and miss. I pray we will not ask and miss to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot hear you louder in yeah. Then God said, Behold, because he presented his care to God. Jesus Christ said, Ask. He said, But before you ask, your heavenly Father know what you need. The exact thing that you need. Ask. Don't, don't blend. Don't be like the man in the, in the book of John 5. In the pool of Bethesda, Jesus Christ has him, and he begin to tell story. Thank God for Jesus that he has patience. <laughs> Acts like Bartholomew, he went straight to his point. What shall I do for you that I may receive my sight? Because he knew that that junction, he has an enemy surrounding him. Number one, number two, he knew that Jesus Christ had an assignment other way. What shall I do for you? I just want to receive my sight. But the other man in the book of John 5, he begin to he begin to tell story. He begin to arrange prayer. He begin to ask, do as you. Jesus Christ said, What shall I do? Uh, uh, when the angel comes, when the water is this, who uh, uh, asks you questions? A lot of people you know how to arrange prayer. Nonsense prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A lot of you, your hand is full of blood. A lot of you, you are not clean in the sight of God. And you are presenting case, Christian case. The sister came to our midst two weeks ago. We have a wonderful message, uh, 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 service. And I saw the sister. And God began to minister. People were, the place was jumped. And if I'm operating, I don't bloody care. I will download you and expose you. 
That is me. They know me. I say you are this, you are this, you are that. And I thank God for the love of that sister. I say I want to I want to be free. I saw a lot of things in the spirit in the hand of this woman. Even though woman part, you have used it to do juju. I told her, he said, Yes, sir, I want to I want to be free. It is not a shame. Then I said, God said, Go and ask for mercy first, forgiveness of sin. No prayer, nothing. Ask for mercy. God opened my eyes and he told me three names of his friend that they went to Habalis together. Yes or no? Yes, and this woman called in the midst of public. And tell me the work that the woman is doing. Ask me which work he's doing. Prostitute. Praise the Lord. Amen. I said the kind of work, I didn't mention the work. But you understand. At times, we ask for use new blood so that our nation to not kill and not dead. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. But thank God for the love of the sister. She did not ask her mess. She went straight to begin to ask to now. Mercy, forgiveness. That is the assignment that God asked. Now go for mercy. Because if your hand is full of blood, if you are not sanctified before God, if you are not clean before God, how can you present your case? It's holy. David said in the book of Psalms 66, 18. Don't take it there, my mind, because I'm still coming there, my son. David said, if you, he said the Lord God cannot behold iniquity. There in Psalms 66, 18 says, if I regard iniquity, the Lord will not hear. Praise the Lord. Amen. Behold, I have done according to your word. See, I have given you a wise, a wise and understanding heart, so that there's, there has not been any one like you before you, nor shall any like you arise after you. Yes, what happened? And I also, did he ask for that? No. Answer me, did he ask for that? No. But why did he get it? Why did Solomon got, got that? Because he presents the right case. I have also given you what you have not asked as both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any like you among the kings all your days. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How do you present your case? Don't be deceived. If I come here and I saw that in your midst there is nothing that can make God to answer prayer, and I begin to jump up and jump down, I begin to dramatize, I begin to bring a, a, a theater for you here. That like I see three people here. God said, after this, after this program, He want to bless you. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah! I begin to shake my head. I begin to dance. You will be carried away, isn't it? And there's a blood in your hand. And I'm preaching prosperity to you. And nothing will come. There's no prosperity will come. Why? The Bible said in the book of Proverbs 28 and 13 that those cover his sins shall never be prosper. But those who confess and forsake them shall have mercy. Isaiah 1 from verse 16, where you are appear before God to present your case. Reason three things that you will make your prayer to be acceptable is in the book of Isaiah 1 and verse 16. <laughs> Let me give you a good thing that we pray. Start from verse 12, my son. When you come to appear before me, who required this from your hand to trample my court when you are bringing your case? Bring no more French sacrifice. It's an abomination to me. The new moons, that is our, 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 our net vision. The Sabbath, that's our Sunday, and the calling assembly as we are here together, I cannot endure. Why? Iniquity and discard meeting, grudges, by writing. You are coming to pray. You love somebody in your heart. You are coming to pray. You are coming to present your case, and you are asking God to destroy someone's life. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Like these two sisters that said, God said, between November and February, if you're pregnant, don't abort it. If you conceive. If you do that, it will, it, will, it, will, it, will, it, will, it will restore to your case in the future. So when you have been now asking God, Father, fruit of the womb, when you are not a barren, then you curse it yourself. Do you think that we answer that prayer? No. Warning before destruction. New moon are your appointed feast. My soul hates. They are trouble to me. And I'm weary bearing death. That is when you are praying to God. Look at what he say. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my face from you. It will not be our portion. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. When you spread the hand to pray tonight, the Lord will not hide his face. Amen. I cannot hear that Be seated, be seated, be seated. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my face from you. Even though you make many, many prayers. Am I talking to believer here? Yes. yes. I will not hear your hand are full of blood. Before we are going to present our case tonight, this is what I want us to do. Go ahead. Now it's not a, a, a faith to God. He said, wash yourself, make yourself clean, put away the evil of your doing from before my eye, cease to do evil. Don't steal. Don't commit fornication adultery. Don't buy bites. Busybody, hypocrites, lies. There is no harm you can be doing this and present your case. You will not hear you. Word of God says in the book of Proverbs, the eyes of God cannot behold iniquity. He said the prayer of a sinner is abomination before me. And he said the prayer of a wicked is also abomination before me. How do you present your kids? What type of kid are you presenting? His hand is not short to hear us, to rescue us, and his neither is here, his blood. It's our iniquity that make up to be far away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mommy and Daddy have been in our church before. Our landlord in the year 2012, we got the building from, from him. He asked us to pay 3,000 pounds deposit, which we paid. He asked us to pay six pounds, uh, six, uh, six months uh, 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 advance. advance, which we paid. And he promised us within three months that he would build us a toilet. Up to last month, he did not. We shout. We have scenes of meeting. One day, I said, This man, his case is not an ordinary man. <laughs> I went to three days fasting and prayer. I present that case to God. Father, this man is a Gentile. And you said that we eat the good of the Gentiles. Why is this man messing me up? Within two weeks, Trouble him. Exactly to see that's my wife. He began to do for me. Where is Joshua? Where is Joshua? Where is Joshua? Where is Joshua? He asked me to go and get contract for my son. They are never finished the building now. Because I present that case to him. I know that we have done it in violence. We have done it in gentleman. You don't want to then I took him to him. <laughs> As a believer, that's how it's supposed to be. Your lecturer who wants to set an eyes on you to destroy you, present that case of your natural lecturer to God. Your supervisor, your manager, unless you are not paying your tithes. If you are paying your tithes and they want to afflict you there, tell, tell it to God. His sister came to our mix. He went for an interview. And they have called her to come and start the job on Monday. To our own surprise, very early on Monday, they called her, don't come again. 
and he came to church on Wednesday. And he walked is very nice. I think it's one thousand pounds a day. And he's laid down. He said, Daddy. I said, Father, in the name of Jesus. My daddy says, Son, don't pray for her. I took the job away from her. I said, Why? He said, Tell her, ask her, and you pay your tithe. He said, No. I said, God said he took it away from me. And he gave it to the person that would pay tithe. He said, I know, sir. My wife was there. He said, I know, sir. I know. I know I'm a sinner. I didn't pay tithe. Don't you know that when you pay, when you don't pay your tithe, and there's a curse upon you, your pastor cannot renounce the curse because the curse is from the Lord. And there's no how you can pray against the voter. If you, the more you pray against the voter, the more the voter comes. The curse is from the Lord. The only thing that can make that prayer to be answered is to pay your price. So there's a prayer that you don't need to supposed to pray. When you do what God has you to do, there's a prayer you don't pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Daddy said, there's someone here. God said on Sunday or Monday, you want to travel, don't travel. And you didn't listen. Then you say, oh God, I want to travel. Save me. And he will tell you, I have told my servant to tell you. That prayer cannot be answered. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead. In that uh, Isaiah, then we, we will then we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Am I talking to a believer here? Yes. yes. Do you understand the way you can pray now? Yes, sir. And settle your case with your God. Yes, sir. And he said to you in the book of Matthew 5, 23, 24, that when you are presenting your case, when you are bringing your case to the altar, and you remember you have brought it to someone, mm. your gift, he said what? Go and drop it. That is what he says. You don't need it at that time. He needs restitution. He needs pains from your heart. Don't come before him with, with dirty hands. Don't come before God with dirty heart. He answers prayers. Yes. God answers prayer. Yes. God answers prayer. Yes. It depends how you appear before him. It depends how you present your king before him. I'm a living testimony. When you pray instantly, he will answer you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, Leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gifts. Praise the Lord. Amen. 